Sales of electric cars in California have gone from 9% two years ago to 23% today. 23%. Now, apparently the EV revolution is stalling and, um, you know, Toyota was right and they were right to just wait until everyone else, I don't know, burned and died and had EVs sitting in their lots that weren't selling. However, turns out EVs are selling pretty damn well in the world's fifth largest car market. Yep, fifth largest in the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. What this means, right? We have Europe, California, China, three of the biggest car markets in the world that are all well above 23%. Well, minimum 23% California. China is at around 30%. Europe is at around 40% now. In terms of electrification, That's uh, those are pretty compelling numbers. I'm going to say that by 2030, it's game over. So if you're not ready to build millions of EVs by 2030, Toyota, then, well, maybe you weren't right. Maybe you were just late to the party. So, guys, this video is for you guys in California. You guys get a bad rap. I mean, California gets criticized relentlessly by YouTubers, by the media, by people who live there. Not all of them. I mean, to be honest, me as a tourist, I, I haven't really been to Los Angeles. I was there for a day, but I've been in, I've been into a lot of places across California because I rode my bike all the way across. I rode it from um, Seattle down to the Baja Peninsula down Highway 1 and it was a great bike lane and I camped in all these different places and my experience was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. I did see something a little crazy though. I saw a deer, a deer run across the road early in the morning and a guy driving a Ford Mustang swerved to miss the deer, crashed into a lake. Um, yeah, the deer was okay, even though it hit the windscreen. It ran off. Now, it may not have been okay, but as far as I could see, it ran off may have died somewhere who knows but this dude yeah he was in a lake and so the emergency services came unfortunately they were able to um, he was all right he was able to get out of the car but that was probably the worst thing i saw but personally I, I benefited immensely from the kindness and generosity of people in california more than i have anywhere else in the world and i've spent a lot of time overseas many years so i've mentioned that on the channel numerous times it's not like i've only been to the u.s i have guys i've lived in like you guys know this thailand now for a long time uh, we lived in China, lived in Taiwan, uh, traveled the world for a year, for three years, actually about three and a half to four years now in total. So I've got to say, guys, Californians get a bad rap. It's completely unfair. I've shared some of the stories of people, just complete random strangers doing things for us that I just, I can never, I can never truly repay them. I feel a little bit emotional talking about it, in fact, because I feel somewhat indebted to people there. So I've got to say this, guys, you guys in California, I mean, hey, uh, what did, what did Joe Biden say, right? We, we, we joke about what he said, Mary, you did it. But truthfully, to be fair, California, you did it. You, the electric revolution in the United States is really a result of Californians embracing new technology, being willing to change, being willing to adopt something different, something scary, something new. Generally, people that are capable of adopting something new are more intelligent than those are not. There's a lot of statistics supporting that argument. This year, 22% of all vehicles sold in California for the first nine months of the year were fully electric. For the third quarter, 22.3% were fully electric. So if you compare that to two years ago, that number was 9% for the third quarter, and I believe about 8% for the entire year. 8% to 22.3%, that is a huge improvement. Things are definitely trending in the right direction. When hybrid and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are included in the calculations though, that figure jumps to 35.4%. So you can see Californians are actually buying a lot more fully electric vehicles than they are hybrids or fuel cell vehicles. So a very small number of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are sold. It's only in the hundreds, or actually maybe a couple of thousand for the entire year, but it's a very small number. It doesn't really contribute very much. So what does that mean? Well, internal combustion engine market share has declined. It was 64.5% this year, down from 71.6% last year and 88.4% in 2018. Now, I think declining from 88.4% to 64% is, is a good number. It's definitely a positive. Who is actually leading this revolution? Well, first of all, I think even though people don't like this idea, but I do believe it's true that California does lead in terms of trends in North America. A lot of what happens there will happen everywhere else later on. Not everything, but a lot. So 
The US as a whole right now is sitting at around 7.5% fully electric car sales. However, California has banned the sale of gas-powered vehicles starting in 2035. So has Washington, and I believe so has one other state as well. I remember reading that recently. However, even if uh, internal combustion engines are banned in 2035, that still means that about 30% of the entire US auto market will not be allowed to sell internal combustion engine vehicles in 2035. I mean, I don't think this is all that relevant. I really think that the technology is leading us to a place where EVs will be so good by 2030 that you'll have to be absolutely mental to actually buy a gasoline powered car. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I see with trends. And of course, I'm looking at all the battery data on a daily basis. So I probably have a pretty good idea of where things are headed. The Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 still dominate sales in California with 103,400 Model Y sold and 67,000 Model 3 sold respectively. Tesla's overall market share of EV sales is at 63% in California. The Model Y is the top selling vehicle in California, period. Um, not EV, it's the top selling vehicle in California. It's followed in second place by the Model 3. So Tesla has the first and second best selling cars in California for the whole year, not for a month, not for a day, not for a week, for the whole year. It's followed by the third place Toyota RAV4. By the way, all RAV4s have been recalled for the past 10 years of sales, affecting millions of sales across the US. So if you have a RAV4, make sure you take it in because it's a recall for fires. Apparently there's been a spate of fires in RAV4 vehicles in the United States. The Toyota Camry was in is sitting in fourth place with 39,293 deliveries. So as you can see from this list, um, sales of the Model 3 are way above sales of the third placed Chevrolet Bolt. When it comes to EVs, you can see here that the Model Y and the Model 3 without those in California, EV sales would be probably relatively small. So I think maybe we should move on from the Tesla bashing and just say, hey guys, without Tesla here in California, the US would be well behind when it comes to EVs. I don't think that 7.5% number would even be 3%. I think it'd be less than that. I could be wrong though. What do you guys reckon on that one? Let me know in the comments. So third place was a Chevrolet Bolt. 15,000 deliveries so far this year. Fourth, the Jeep Wrangler. That's a plug-in hybrid though with 10,000 deliveries. Now this chart here comes from Clean Technica, by the way. In fifth place was the Volkswagen ID4, which is, comes, in, comes in at quite a good price with 8,921 deliveries. And that, I believe, does qualify for EV incentives in the US. Mustang mach -E, pretty disappointing sales figures in my opinion. 7,972 was in 6th. Hyundai Ioniq 5 was in 7th with 7,209. BMW i4 is doing, I think, relatively well considering with 7,100, followed by the Tesla Model X, 7,000 deliveries, Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid with 4,822. The Rivian R1S, 3,832. I'm personally a big fan of the Rivian R1S. I think it's a great vehicle. Kia Nero was next with 3,400 deliveries. Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid, 3,338. The BMW iX with 3,307. And the Tesla Model S was in 15th place with 3,150. There's too many expensive uh, mid to large electric sedans in the US. You've got Lucid, you've got BMW making, you've got Mercedes making. The market is just flooded and no one really wants them anymore. They want SUVs. Either way, guys, these numbers, in my opinion, are really, really good. For Tesla, its overall market share has declined, but not by that much. Its market share last year was 71.8%. So its market share has come down, but only by around about 6 or 7%. Now, here's what I think is an even more remarkable number. The reality is Tesla's really only selling two mainstream vehicles, obviously the Model Y and the Model 3. And we haven't seen the new versions come out yet. Everyone knows they're imminent. That said, Toyota has 15% market share in California for the entire automotive market, and Tesla has 13.5%. That's really a staggering result. Imagine if Tesla had the Model 2, the Cybertruck, just a few more vehicles in its stable that were relatively affordable or mainstream vehicles that they mass manufactured. I think it could easily eclipse Toyota. I'm guessing it probably will at some point. We just found out today, Tesla are making the Model 2 
in Germany as well as Mexico. And they will apparently have a production line as well in the Gigafactory in Texas. So that's good news. Maybe they'll start selling those hopefully sooner rather than later. Either way, guys, you know what? Congratulations to California. I think these, these results are really good and you guys are definitely heading in the right direction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.